On the regular, I'm asked, what do I do? How do I do what I do? Or better yet, why? From family to friends, clients, and even my subjects on film, most people in my life know very little about the process behind how and why I'm currently shooting my thesis project on the international downhill skating community. Which brings me to this Day in the Life episode, where I'll show you some of the challenges I face on a shoot-by-shoot -shoot basis, as well as the process behind my last location shoot in Tucson, Arizona. Hopefully, by the end, there will be a better understanding as to the how and why. Let's get into it. The first hurdle to any shoot, oddly enough, is the one with the most uncertainty, but requires the most confidence. Choosing my gear, organizing camera equipment, and the overall planning and goals to my shoot are key. Yet no amount of planning, however lengthy or detailed, can prepare you for adventure filmmaking. I've learned that flexibility and spur of the moment creativity trump best laid plans in most situations, especially when my doc centers around spontaneous and unpredictable skaters. Let's go. Sometimes the situation just calls you to send it. In this case, to Mount Lemon in Tucson, Arizona. Some believe, and others would argue, that documentary filmmakers must separate themselves from their subjects to truthfully and objectively tell their stories. I would disagree. My style calls me to really know the people I'm capturing on film, taking time out of my day and during the shoot to really, you know, come to terms with who they are. And I don't just mean while on a shoot. I mean before, during, and after. I feel that knowing people intimately translates onto film in a positive way. And not just in style, but in terms of story and the connection with the audience. Making, in my opinion, for more personal and meaningful documentaries. Uh, Gordon Kiribashi, Hobiashi, that homie that made the Mount Lemon. For that guy. That homie that made the Mount Lemon. <laughs> This is also the main reason why I love my chosen thesis project. Because I truly enjoy meeting new people, new experiences, and more importantly, new friends. And here are some of my subjects turned friends. Both of which I met in principal photography in Europe this past summer. Hi sir. How you doing, James? Yeah. <laughs> Morgan Owens. It's never a dull moment with this guy. He's a fellow Cali yeah. resident, for show an awesome downhill skater, and always making me laugh. Shout out to you, Morgan. <laughs> then there's Ty. He's the real reason why I trekked out to Tucson. An East Coast transplant to Arizona, downhill skater, photographer, and a genuine soul. He has an eye for the sport, and it shows in his photography but also in his personal love for the community. Ty moved out to Arizona for college and in the absence of family formed a new one in the downhill skating scene, helping to run and organize an outlaw race known as the Mount Lemon Annual Downhill Marathon. This is a word of mouth race among friends. No permits, professional judging or regulated structure. It's the mountain, local skaters 
and the challenge of a 22-mile race. By far, one of the longest unofficial races in the U.S. and possibly the world. This brings us to the third challenge. Avoid the cat tracks, you can put break for them, you can skate around them, whatever. As a filmmaker, I'm forced to multitask, especially when shooting solo. From handheld camera work, deploying action cameras, photography, sound, drone work, or even video management and editing. It's always a creative and practical challenge to balance these aspects of any shoot. Yet, it's one I always look forward to. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to wait. Make y'all comfortable. That's right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. That's right. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to make no time for you. Every story has subtextual threads. What I mean by this is themes. Themes that link the character to the story and the audience. Relatable collective elements that I can distill and capture to better portray my subject. These threads are found in interviews and in the people you meet during documentary filmmaking. Super thankful to have Tyler as a friend, have him out here putting this on for everyone. Um, I had a lot of fun going down the hill. That was my first time ever skating down Mount Lemon. Tucked for a long time. It took me somewhere between like 29 and 33 minutes. I need to look at the GoPro and I tucked probably 80% of it. Yeah, it's 22 miles. The only mile marker I saw going down was my, it was 11, and at that point I was kind of bummed. Uh, it gets really bumpy once you get past the pay station. Oh man, and so like, definitely one foot probably went down at some point, but it was sick. Stoked to be out here, stoked to take it. It's a blessing. Yeah. Oh. Is that? Oh. Good, it's time to skate. Why'd you do that? If you commit a party foul at a skate event, you're chugging out of a shoe. Now I'm gonna go skateboard in this shoe. For that man, we don't know. So sorry. I didn't know there was congealed blood up there. Dude, that's dope as fuck. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. That's fucking hardcore. Yeah, yeah this, is, this is skateboarding, guys. This is... Okay, I'm missing. I got a little down. I fell off my skateboard. Use your strength. strength. <laughs> you trying to rip an apple in half? <laughs> yeah, I gotta. Then you just leave them. You just leave them nice and finger tight. You know. That way. Uh, Are you guys gonna go skate right now? I'm gonna go skate the top of Mount Lemon right now. And also enjoy it a lot. And watch all the fall colors. Get in there. Don't don't let the uh, don't let what's happened in the past mess with your future. Because what matters is what's happening right now. That's the truth. That was very profound. 
and she's nice and set up. Now time to change wheels. Oh. <laughs> you slut. these types of elements that stand out to me, and they're what make the downhill skating community special. Not just a bunch of skateboarders bending laws to bend traffic lanes, but as athletes and family that skate down mountains, laughing, cooking food, and hanging out, generally dreaming about where they want to skate next. This leads us to the last challenge. But by far the most important. Finding the story. Finding and telling others' stories is the how and why. It challenges how I apply my craft, why I'm filming my thesis, and why I decided to tell Ty's story as a part of my project but I'll let him explain. Why am I so passionate about downhill skateboarding? Um, I think it's become my passion because it's given me a way to uh, always have a solid foundation of happiness. It gets your friends together and when you skate with somebody, you're trusting them and they're trusting you and even though it isn't explicitly said when you're in that pack going down the hill and you're in a cluster of six people and you know all of them and you know how each of them skates and everything's flying past you at 50 miles an hour that's a pretty cool feeling uh, that type of bond is pretty unique um, and something that you can't really find too many other places so it really brings you close to your friends uh, it introduces you to a whole worldwide community and it's just fun. Just blasting down a hill is a solid time. <laughs> yeah. Everybody tells us we're crazy. Maybe we are. We're, we're kooks. <laughs> we're longboarders. Sick. Can't do it. Can't. The level of stoke sick. is awesome. <laughs> Here, can I see your camera? Yeah, 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 yeah. You wanna, I'm, Jesus Christ. All right, let's go. Okay. Uh, I'm out here filming for my thesis project, Super Kooks, uh, coming out 2020. Everyone should know more about the sport. I think people would come to really like the people who actually take part in it uh, because of their heart. It's when they're doing something, which is totally amazing. And I feel like it's worth uh, people knowing more about it. And that's the whole point of the project and kind of the YouTube channel is to uh, show people like the process of making a documentary, this documentary. And then by doing that, I'm basically doing the process myself. What have you learned about yourself through making this documentary? Uh, I've just learned more about what I want to do as a filmmaker, like telling stories. Uh, it's a, always a pleasure and a privilege to tell other people's stories, so that's my goal with this thesis project. But yeah, but yeah, currently for this episode, uh, for this episode, just came out here to Mount Lemon to shoot with uh, you, Ty. There's Ty. This is, will basically help kind of fill out the non idea for professional uh, area of the downhill community in my documentary. There's like a bunch of dudes, you know, all like palling around, cooking eggs. Cooking eggs. And spam. <laughs> Just really cool getting out here and seeing the nitty gritty. And uh, seeing some amazing people doing amazing things. So yeah, it's been really a pleasure and an honor to come out here and shoot with you guys. That's it. Alright, right, let's get out of here. It's cold <laughs> as f up here. Yeah, I'm freezing. Alright. <laughs> this is James J. Gilchrist. 
signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Stay tuned for more. And remember, like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>